Hi everyone, I'm Kathy Nazari, uh, founder of the Lights Out Coalition, and I am thrilled to be a part of this amazing day, sharing the stage with all these talented activists, including my friends Adita Byrne Prant and Stuart Mitchell. Thank you, Ray Ippolito and the other organizers for inviting me to speak today. Um, as it was mentioned, I started rescuing cats at the age of five and advocated for animals most of my life. As a practicing Buddhist, I founded Lights Out to protect New York's wildlife based on three basic Buddhist principles. One, interconnectedness, means we are all connected, every living being and the planet. While we may not see it physically, we are all cosmically and karmically connected. We share this existence and are affected by everything and everyone. So what we do to animals, we do to the planet, we do to each other, and we do to ourselves. It may not be immediately apparent, but when we harm an animal, we harm all life. Two, mindfulness. Being truly present in the moment. Experiencing this present moment with all of our senses. Being here right now. What does this moment feel like? Look, smell, sound, and taste like. When we are mindful, we see how our actions affect animals, people, and the planet. Our actions create a cause and effect. What we do has consequences. And three, when we, un when we understand we are all connected and that our actions affect others, we are instilled with respect for all living beings. Interconnectedness and mindfulness inevitably lead to compassion. Some call it fairness, equity, social justice, and it includes animals. Buddha was a vegetarian. His concern was for all life. I have been vegan for 44 years and know that will never change for the rest of my days. It brings me joy, thank you, to not participate in the suffering of others. I know I'm preaching to the choir here. We can all elevate others to experience that same cosmic bliss. The Lights Out Coalition's 50 member organizations understand these principles. This is why we're not only animal rights groups, but environmental and professional groups as well. We work together to protect local and migratory wildlife in, three, in two ways, legislative advocacy and education. In our first months, we got two bills passed unanimously in the city council requiring folks to turn off unnecessary lights at night, hence our name. Migratory birds are drawn to light and tragically collide with lit windows and buildings. Few survive. Roughly a quarter million birds are killed each year just flying over New York City. That translates to one billion birds across the planet each year. We have a new bill in the council, intro 1039, that will protect more of these migrating birds. If you want to help, please call your council member and urge them to co-sponsor intro 1039. Our messaging also conveys interconnectedness. Light pollution doesn't just kill birds. It is an established carcinogen, increasing the risk of breast cancer in women. It leads to all sorts of illness and disease. These incidents are higher in environmental justice communities. Unhoused people suffer from PTSD and mental illness, and the continual barrage of light pollution increases their suffering. It contributes to greenhouse gases and the planet's destruction. When our actions harm animals, they harm the planet, they harm us. It's that simple. Light pollution kills, turn off a light, save a life. When we talk about respecting the lives of all animals, that includes those who live in the parks. We urge others to do the same. We can be mindful that we are strangers in their home and act accordingly. Mindfulness means respecting the swans, ducks, geese, songbirds, turtles, raccoons, squirrels, and all others, giving them their personal space, not chasing them, not treating the park like a personal petting zoo. We can share this with others in the parks and encourage parents to teach it to their children. Things like not feeding animals inappropriate food that will make them sick or cause birds to lose the ability to fly. Not removing any animal, including fish, from the parks. They don't belong to us. They have families who they should not be separated from. And it's illegal. 
If we see people using barbed fishing hooks, we can gently let them know they're illegal and cause suffering, not only to the fish, but also to the birds and other animals, even dogs who inadvertently are harmed and even killed by hooks and fishing wire tossed in the water or on the ground instead of into a trash bin. Mindfulness puts us in their proverbial shoes. We can end their pain by sharing this knowledge, respect, and compassion. Their parks, ours too. Thank you.